All right, so I'm doing a little bit of a different sort of video today. I thought since we're about to start the playoffs, I did make some playoff predictions at the beginning of the season. So I thought I'd go through them and react to these decisions that I had made. I remember a couple of them, a couple of my a couple of them I do not remember. So you're going to take a listen with me. I have a couple of bold predictions I think in here, a couple of playoff predictions, a uh, champion prediction i think in here a couple of stuff and uh yeah watch me react all right let's see what bold, bold predictions i had i'm gonna start with that number 16 machine that is gonna be my first bold prediction my bold prediction for 2024 for that number 16 machine is that Shane Van Gisbergen and, and AJ Allmendinger both win a race. Both of these drivers very so far this is completely missed. Racers, can definitely <laughs> so far see this is completely missed. winning the Roval again. My second bold prediction is that Ryan Blaney will have a very strong regular season, get two plus wins. That's not the bold take. The bold take is after that he will go out. In the very first round, like his teammate did, Joey Logano, and go out. That could still happen. That could still be. Listen, that could still be. Comes at me, huge nail on the head. Man. That could be nail oh, on the head right there, actually. But the way that first round is lined up, I could see anybody going out. And I look at Blaney as someone who has bad luck. I used to call him bad luck Blaney up until the second half of last season, where all of a sudden he just turned it on and won a championship deservedly so my third bold prediction that the brickyard 400 will be a great success and that the racing will be phenomenal everybody's been looking huh. forward to the return to the oval debatable Indianapolis motor speedway for the that third one is debatable if that was a success Last or not years that nascar was there that was very Didn't debatable on the greatest racing the way this next gen car works my fourth bold prediction is that Bubba Wallace has a breakout year and wins multiple races. Mm, that hasn't happened. <laughs> that has not happened. Deservedly so. Bubba Wallace I was really waiting turned for it this. on in the second half of last season and really just began I was waiting for to this. figure out Bubba will what come up again he needs later. as a dr- And my fifth bold prediction is that Corey LaJoy will win the playoff opener at Atlanta. That might happen. That, playoff that might happen. It's Atlanta. It might happen. Racing is. And this might be right on time. Success. That'd be crazy. And, and All right, well, let's see who I'm picking for the playoffs. Prediction. Who did I pick for the playoffs? My 16 drivers let's see. are going to be Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., okay. Christopher Bell. Okay. I think Ty Gibbs will make the playoffs. That was a good one. That was a good Wayne one. Byron. All right. Chase Elliott, I think, will make his return to the playoffs. Yep, that happened. Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain. Ah. Joey Logano. Okay. Ryan Blaney. There you go. Got Chris Buescher, no. Brad Keselowski, All right. Bubba Wallace, ah. Tyler Reddick. And then my 16th and final driver oh, I know who it is. making the playoffs is going to be the driver of the number 43, Eric Jones. Ah, Two notables Jones. I have to name that Eric Jones. missed the playoffs in my predictions. One of them included Daniel Suarez, another notable. I don't see Bowman making the playoffs as well. We'll get to more about yeah, those, those were wrong. 48. They both made it. <laughs> By the way, there is <laughs> a couple of bold predictions <laughs> in my playoffs here as well. Starting, Yeah, I really thought that Eric Jones was going to make the playoffs first year with Toyota. Toyota's been so strong. I knew that they probably weren't going to be as good as Gibbs. I'm talking about Legacy Motor Club. I knew they weren't going to be as, gi- as good as Gibbs probably, but it's been tough. This first year at Toyota for Legacy, for Eric Jones, for John Hunter Nemechek. They've had a couple of good runs here and there, but for the most part, they have struggled. And, yeah, it's that pick was not, not a good pick. I missed on a couple of picks when it came to this top 16. Kyle Busch didn't make the playoffs. Ross Chastain didn't make the playoffs. Bubba Wallace obviously didn't make the playoffs. Talk a little bit more about Bubba Wallace in a minute. It's, yeah. Definitely missed on a couple of those. And then my Suarez Bowman match, and I had to go out of my way to be mentioned, like, hey, I just, I don't think Suarez and Bowman are going to make it. And they both made it. And yeah, that kind of bit me. <laughs> With the very first round, like I said, I had Ryan Blaney going out in the first round. But also, included in that first round, I have Eric Jones. But I also have 
Martin Truex Jr. and Chase Elliott going out in that very first round. A very chaotic Martin Truex Jr. and Chase Elliott. I, I don't know if Chase Elliott will. And going out of the round of 12, I have Joey Logano, Christopher Bell, Chris Buescher, and Tyler Reddick going out in the round of 12 of the NASCAR playoffs. Okay. And then I have advancing to the round of eight. I have Denny Hamlin. Look at my round of eight. Larson, oh, man, my Bush, round of eight. I have Ross three drivers Chastain, that didn't even make the playoffs William in the round of Byron, eight. Brad Keselowski. And then I'd say the two upsets being Bubba Wallace and Ty Gibbs. I have both of them getting to the round of eight of the NASCAR playoffs. Then advancing to the championship four, where I will have my last bold prediction. I have Denny Hamlin going to the championship four. I have Ross Chastain going to the championship four. Chastain didn't make the playoffs. Kyle Larson going to the championship four. And then my bold prediction as that fourth driver going to the championship four, Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace didn't make the playoffs. Here it comes. No. No. Let's pick our Cup Series champion. No. And there's only one guy I think it can be. I don't know. Maybe I'm just excited. Want this guy to get that championship. Finally. I think I just... Denny Hamlin. Yeah. That's my pick. Oh, yeah. Denny Hamlin oh, will be the 2024 the Cup Series the champion style. and finally get that Cup Series championship at Phoenix Raceway in November. Okay, let's go over a couple more things now that we got the transition, Cup though. Series champion picked. Yeah. I went real deep. On when it came to Bubba Wallace, when it came to these picks, I remember last season in the playoffs because he he didn't make the playoffs if I remember correctly. He didn't make the playoffs last year, or he got eliminated real early. Might have been in the owners' playoffs, but I just remember he was really strong in like the last like eight or nine races of the season. He was just fantastic, and I thought he was going to come into this season with a head full of steam, and it ended up being the opposite. He ended up struggling most of the year and ended up being pretty strong over the last maybe seven or eight races, but has not won any races. I had him winning multiple races and making the championship four. And that is, he didn't even make the playoffs and he's yet to win a race. So that's, that's obviously a fail of a pick for sure. (laughs) So Denny Hamlin, I picked Denny Hamlin at the beginning of the year to be the champion We'll see if he's able to get it done. We're starting up the playoffs here. Check out my playoff breakdown video. Essentially, I'm breaking down the NASCAR playoffs, going through all the races and all the competitors and making my predictions on who do I think is going to advance out of each round and giving some reasoning behind some of my decisions. So check that video out. Also, enjoy the NASCAR playoffs. Enjoy Atlanta Motor Speedway. Enjoy Watkins Glen, Bristol, all the upcoming races. And thank you for watching. And also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Shorts, saying peace.